Hello everyone and welcome! Today I have some very interesting news for you all in regards to the second generation of Ludo cards, which will be available following the upcoming update. And I also have a sneak peek at a few of these new loadouts for Fragger, Sparks, and Proxy as well, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Now first of all, there is a lot that has been changed in regards to these loadout cards in an effort to try to make them more balanced, as well as decreasing the disappointment you may feel should you not receive the exact loadout you were hoping for. We'll even be seeing some new augments for your mercs that weren't native to them in the first iteration of loadouts, so even though you may not receive the exact card you were hoping for, you should still find some positivity in trying out the new generation of cards. To say it better than I can, here's a quote from Exodora the lead game designer. He says, We will be replacing the lesser used cards with ones that have the traits which we have learned players prefer. We want players to have positive or even adventurous reactions to getting a card that they didn't expect. The first edition cards will still be available for direct purchase at the bronze rarity via the store, but they won't be coming out of newly dropped or purchased cases as of the second editions going live. Also, all of the first edition cards can still be used for trades, but the resulting cards will all be for the second generation of loadouts. So basically, we will be seeing an increase to the usefulness of every loadout across the board, instead of just having a couple good cards for each merc. Now obviously there will still be a few loadouts that most players will prefer, however the aim with the new generation of cards is to appeal to different playstyles as well as getting you to try some new things. So without any further ado, let me show you a few of the sneak peeks I have of the upcoming new loadouts for these three mercs. First up we have the three loadout cards for Fragger, featuring the B-5-2, the K-5-1, and the M-6-2 loadouts. The B-5-2 sees a change to the Flying Pig augment, which was replaced with Focus, making much more sense for Fregger's playstyle as well as being a great augment for the BR-16 Burst Rifle, which really relies on accuracy and precision, especially during those long-ranged engagements where you might find yourself aiming down your sights. Players may also be happy to hear that the K-5-1 and M-6-2 loadouts have ditched the Cool augment and replaced it with the Tough and Chopper augments respectively. Cool was not an augment that most players were very fond of, so I think they'll be happy to see it gone from the new card pool. Next up for proxy we have the R23, the H11, and the KE21 loadouts. Now while the R23 and the H11 both see a replacement of the cool augment for the failsafe and flying pig augments respectively, the R23 has also seen a replacement of looter for bomb squad, and its secondary weapon the Tolan MP being switched out for the MP400 and becoming the R13. Previously proxy had 4 loadouts with the Tolan MP, so that it has now been fixed. Proxy also now has access to the Lock-On Augment, something she hasn't seen before and will be replacing the Pineapple Juggler Augment on the KE21 amongst other loadouts, so I'm very interested to see this new Augment in action. And last up for our crew today we have Sparks, who I am more than glad to say sees some of the biggest changes in the next generation of loadout cards, really solidifying her role as a dedicated medic, as well as receiving two new Augments which she hasn't seen before, Unshakable and Focus. Her new 172 loadout replaces the old Quick Eye and Double Time augments with Unshakable as well as Getup, and her old 281 loadout sees the Potent Pack and Cool augments being replaced by Unshakable and Getup once again. It also replaced the Beckheld Knife for the Stiletto, now becoming the 282, and last up, the 343 loadout for Sparks sees the biggest change, featuring a complete revision of its augments, now with extra supplies, focus, and quick charge in place of Get Up Chopper and Flying Pig, as well well as replacing the Cricket Bat with the Stiletto Knife once again. Believe it or not, Sparks actually had 5 loadouts with the Cricket Bat, and that has now been fixed to be in line with the 3 of each weapons per 9 loadouts. So I think that all of these revisions are most certainly a good step in the right direction. Better augment balancing means that I shouldn't have to worry about receiving a loadout that isn't really worth using, and I can't wait to test them all out once they're fully released. Now just remember that these are only three of the loadouts for each of the mercs that I was able to disclose with you today, so please keep that in mind because there are plenty of more good cards coming that I think you are really going to enjoy. But I do want to hear what you guys think, so please let me know down in the comments how you feel about these changes and what other changes you're hoping to see from the rest of the loadouts, which I couldn't show in this video. Anyways, that's just about going to wrap it up, so I hope you enjoyed this little sneak peek at the upcoming new generation of Lodo cards, and I'll see you in the next video. But until then, as always, take care everyone.